What's up everyone? Today I'm giving you a free preset pack that has over 60 transitions. So click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments. You can find this preset pack by visiting my product page and you'll see speed zoom preset pack right here. You can simply click on that or you can click the link in the description down below. That will bring you to the product page where you can read all about this pack and download it. You can enter zero if you want this for free or if you want to support the channel, you can set any amount you would like. Simply click add to cart and download the preset pack. Once you have it downloaded, please extract all of those files and you're gonna see a folder that has KH Speed Zoom Transitions preset and a product support link. If you double click on the product support link, that'll bring you to the product support page where you can watch the included tutorial or read how to use this pack. Now let's install it. Go to the effects tab in Premiere and right click on presets, select import presets. Navigate to wherever you extract those files and simply select KH Speed Zoom Transitions. Click open. As soon as you do that, you're gonna see we now have this case, Speed Zoom Transitions, and a guide. If you hover over this guide, it's gonna quickly tell you how to use this pack, but I'm gonna show you right now. You'll see that we have three different versions, linear, ease out, and ease in. Linear is one constant speed. Ease out starts very slow and ends pretty fast. Ease in starts fast and ends slow. So how do you use this pack? Well, if you just drop down on, let's say, linear, you'll see that we have zoom ins and zoom outs. You'll see that we have percentages, 105% all the way to 150%. This just means that you are zooming from 100% to 150%. So let's show you what that looks like on this single clip right here. If I simply drag the zoom in linear 150%, you'll see that we are constantly zooming in to 150%. And if I drag the, let's say, zoom in linear 110%, you'll see it zooms in less. I highly recommend singling out one clip just so you can see what each of these effects do. So I just dragged on and ease out, and you'll see that it starts slow and it zooms really fast. This time, let's go to zoom out, drag that on. You'll see that it starts fast and ends slow. So boom, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. You have to click and drag it onto your effects. Something to keep in mind when you're using this pack is you can actually just highlight a bunch of clips in your timeline and drag on an effect that you like. So for example, let's try this zoom in, ease in 130%, drag it onto all your clips, and you'll now see that if we play this back, we have that zoom in, ease transition. One quick note is how do you remove these effects? Well, you can just highlight all those clips that you drag the effect onto, right click, remove attributes, and make sure the transform effect is selected and click OK. Now we have a base canvas where we can apply another effect. For example, let's go to ease out and let's do a zoom out ease 115 because I want it to be more subtle. If you don't want to single out your clip, something that I also like to do is actually just highlight my entire sequence and drag on an effect. Let's drag zoom out linear 135 and then see what that does. Even just having a constant zoom out throughout your entire project kind of allows you to create some dynamic movements throughout the entire video. So let's highlight everything, right click, remove attributes, and click okay. So get creative with this. So for example, you don't have to just drag a bunch of them and drag the same effect onto all of them. You can actually change it up. So for this one, let's do a zoom in, ease out 130, and let's try zoom out, ease in 130 on the next clip. So this means that it should start slow and go pretty fast and then start fast and go slow. So that kind of creates a nice little seamless transition right there with very minimal work. But honestly, you don't have to get that crazy with it. You can drag in any effect in all of these presets to a bunch of your clips, and I can guarantee you that it will still look pretty dang good. So I'm just dragging on a bunch of effects on all these clips right here, and let's loop that and see what it looks like. Now click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do because that motivates me to keep making free stuff like this. Also, if you have any questions, please double click that product support link because that will give you a detailed breakdown on how to use this pack and help answer any questions you may have. Well, that's all I have time for. As always, stay creative. I'll see you guys next time.